Welcome back to Dishonored, Burning Dog fans. Once again, we're here on the main menu, and once again, we're here to look at the DLC. I didn't really get a whole lot of interest in looking at the last of the challenges in the Dunwall City Trials. And, uh... <laughs> if I can be a bit blunt... Today happens to be my birthday, and I think I'll treat myself to continuing the story. Because that's what I want to do. I think I might actually come back and make a video out of uh, the last couple of challenges in the Dunwall City Trials, but for now, what I want to do is... Uh, get on to the first of the DLC story chapters, The Knife of Dunwall. Yeah, I kind of expected that name it would be uh, dealing with doubt, especially from the fact that he didn't show up at all in the uh, ending. You know, no mention of what sparing him led to. I guess we get to find out. Also, I guess it's canon that we didn't kill him. I'm just looking forward to seeing how uh, he's going to cross Corvo's path this time. Okay. I guess I have to back out to the main menu to get the options. It seems kind of uh, frustrating, but whatever. Dishonored, the knife of Dunwall. Let's jump in. Wait a minute. Uh, casual novice, a casual experience for new players. Enemy damage is reduced. Your health recovery is improved, and potions are more effective. Veteran. Moderately challenging experience. Enemies inflict more damage and have keener perceptions. Elite. A serious challenge for hardcore gamers. Enemies inflict extreme damage, have keen perceptions, and potions are less effective. And I haven't unlocked this yet, but... Master Assassin. A brutal experience. No fucking way. Let's go with the default one. Veteran. Wait, what? If you stop moving while blinking, time will stop? Oh, shit. I'm playing as Dowd. Dunwall Tower. None like her. You can't forget what you've done. Killing the Empress and handing her daughter Emily to the Lord Regent haunts you. One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. Uh, 
does it look different? Oh! It's got the symbols for blink and time stop on it. Void gaze. See runes and charms through walls. I, I, I didn't realize that this is actually where they put the, uh, the grave. If I'd known that, I definitely would have made a point of coming in here as Corvo. Actually, I actually regret that I didn't do that when I was here the first time. Seriously, this is where they put the grave, and the reason I didn't come inside, I remember, was that there was a guy, like, trying to show off the view to a girl inside. Remember, this was a sad place? In memory of Her Majesty Jessamine Caldwin, mother to Emily, empress to us all. Fallen letter. You killed her. I think there was a letter next to uh, Jessamine's body in the beginning, in Corvo's first trip to the void, and it said something like, you can't save her, or you failed her, or something. can't believe I'm playing as Dowd. I don't even know what time period this is. Is this right after Corvo saves the uh, Empire? Right after he killed the Empress? Power. Blink. Move rapidly from place to place unnoticed. You can move horizontally as well as vertically and aim at ledges to climb over them. Time will freeze if you stop moving while you aim, even mid-jump. This gives you... This gives you time to plan an escape or perform feats like changing direction mid-air. Hold left trigger to target. While targeting, a spherical marker indicates where you will end up. To freeze time, release all movement controls, including A. That's really weird. Oh, it didn't even feel like I was rushing forward. He's like to reach the couch. I did notice in that intro there, from Dowd's perspective, that you could see uh, Burroughs and uh, Campbell holding back the guards from going up there, or like talking to the, their own men instead of rushing up to help uh, save the Empress, of course. Oh, that's interesting. Mark glows right through his glove. Not touching the ground. Weird! In fact, let's see if this really works the way they uh, advertised it. gaze. Press left trigger to see in the dark and help you locate bone charms and runes. That's because I don't have the heart. Only Corvo has the heart. If this power equipped with the mark of the outsider on Dowd's hand will light up when you are facing a bone charm or rune. Level 2 shows you important items through solid walls, like security devices, ammo, coins, and keys, as well as living beings. You can also see their fields of view, as well as a visual representation of the sounds you make.
Wait, do I just... Does it just stay on forever until I turn it off? That was me manually turning it off. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I noticed in those, uh... In those tips, Jawad's not wearing a mask. I, if I had to bet, I'd say that, uh... He's gonna put on one of those, uh... The, 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 the wailing gas masks. In order to give them an excuse to use the, uh, zoom vision. I wonder if I can... Oh. I can already do that. Well, maybe he's wearing it now. I don't fucking know. Dowd, my old friend. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. Rothwild Slaughterhouse. I didn't think I would be responsible for finding out if uh, Dao was true to his word or not. Promised he didn't want to kill anyone anymore. A captain of industry, Bundry Rothwild, is a ruthless businessman who owns a slaughterhouse and a fleet of whaling ships, including a ship called the Delilah. Infiltrate the Rothwild slaughterhouse and find out what's behind the name. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, Things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. Favors. As Dowd, you can use your network of spies and corrupt merchants to purchase equipment and upgrades before each mission. You can also pay for special favors. These favors can have a variety of effects in the mission, such as granting access to equipment caches or revealing secret information. These sound good. I think I'll take these. Wrist bow accuracy. Choke dust. A non-lethal grenade that temporarily disables enemies! Dude! Sleep dart capacity one! I have the weirdest boner right now. <laughs> okay, first we should get these. The st 
stolen room. A bribed laborer will misplace a rune he found in a crate full of old scrimshaw bound for the Academy of Natural Philosophy. The rune will be hidden in the sewer that spills out under the river. That's 150 uh, dollar dues. Silent Sabotage. A bribed worker will disconnect the security and the refinery valves. Using the valves will not sound the alarm. I don't know what that means, but it sounds important. Safe Code. A guard overheard the code to the safe in the shipping office and will etch it on the wall. Okay. Now, obviously, let's start with Sleep Dart Capacity 1. Let's go with Bone Charm Capacity. What the hell? Why not? Combat Sleep Dart. Sleep darts are effective immediately, even in combat, for almost all of my dollar dues. I think I showed it off only once in the main campaign, what it was like before. Or did I at all? Hmm. Maybe I should see it just for the hell of it. Or would that be madness, folks? I don't know! It's all new territory to me. Uh, make a decision, Burning Dog Face. Hmm, that's a lot. Alright, let's get the Choke Dust capacity instead. Increase the Choke Dust storage capacity by 4, because going from 4 to 9 is uh, pretty relevant. Okay. I guess I do, yeah. Hey, one more. Don't stop making purchases and proceed to the mission? Yes! Let's get on with it. Oh. As a result of your bribe, the alarm system has been disabled, and there will be a no alert if you begin turning on pressure valves in the refinery area. Bundry Rothwild is a ruthless businessman who owns... Yes, I saw that. Cover the rune from a maintenance tunnel inside the slaughterhouse. Find the combination rune on the wall. Okay, uh... Great. Summon Assassin. Yeah, okay. Good. Arcane Bond. Share your powers with your assassin allies. Level 1 assassins will benefit from blink and vitality. Oh, I already have the. Okay, duh. This means they can teleport and get an increase in health. Level 2 assassins benefit from pull, bend time, and shadow kill. What the fuck is pull? I don't even see that here. With pull, assassins will pull enemies during combat. When your bend time is active, assassins move at normal speed. With shadow kill, enemies will turn to ash instead of leaving a body. This ability is only useful if you've purchased the powers you intend to share with your assassins. To get the maximum benefit, wait until you've purchased each power that can be shared before buying that level of arcane bond. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the City Watch free reign to use force. 
If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Thanks. One of six collected. No. Oh. Well, level one. Uh, let's invest it. Jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced, or health is increased. Let's go this first, then this, and then, you know, back and forth. Okay, uh, let's do that. I don't think I'll be doing this for the same reason I didn't get, uh, Shadow Swarm, or whatever it was called. Devouring Swarm. Hmm. Yes, I do. <laughs> and it adds a uh, its, new, its own new uh, picture for Dowd. Surprised they brought Michael Madsen back. Property or we'll lock you up too. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get keep... back in. You had no right to take it. Why does he keep bringing up the uh, thing on the keyboard note? Is one of the keys sticking or something? What's up with it? Is the mouse, like, vibrating? Try and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. Go home, mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die weeping. All of you. I hope the plague gets you. Well, at least I have access to level one of the uh, zoom. Well, with all that in mind... Uh, oh no, this one. And without the heart, let's put these over here. Cool. So that's why I couldn't see what they were shooting me with. Well, that in mind, before we get to work, I'll call it a video. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play the Knife of Dunwall. When Dowd sets off on a uh, mission to redeem himself. Later!